Okay, what's up guys? I'm playing Hover Revolt of Gamers. It's apparently supposed to be a Jet Set Radio, Jet Set Radio Future Revival. Um, I literally just saw this game today because I was reading the PC Gamers like website update news and then I, all I saw was Jet Set Radio title revival and then hover and then I bought it immediately. Anything that says Jet Set Radio uh, like revival anything, I'm gonna go and buy it because Jet Set Radio best game. So let us get into it. And let's play. Oh, and so I set up this game to have a medium graphic setting because again with OBS at it lags sometimes, even though the game runs absolutely fine and high. So this game is kind of like a low quality, um, you know, not really graphic intense, but I put on medium just in case. So let's get into it. New team. And this is completely blind, of course, because this released about a couple days ago. So, what should be our new team? Man, I'm thinking of the old Jet Set Radio Future, because I do love Jet Set Radio Future. The GG's. Always gotta... The GG's. Okay, so new. Oh, they get to make their own character? Wow. And the rest are locked. And this just looks like different... Oh, female and male. Even though you can't really see their face, but you can tell by their chest size and the frame. What color do I want? I kinda want like a... Black and red build would be cool. I do like... I do like black and red, but... The red is kind of like pale. Yeah, I don't like that red. black and pink so I'm assuming the um, soundtrack is supposed to be like Jet Set Radio Jet Set Radio Futurist like from Hideki Naganuma I think that's the um, the composer for the other games for the Jet Set Radio games so far, I think they do a pretty good job. I mean, this is the first game, I mean, the first song I've heard. So. That looks pretty cool. Oh, there's a red. Hmm. I do like that color. Yes. <laughs> totally basic. Uh, what's the name? What should we name this? King? Why not? Oh, what's this? Oh, you can rotate it. You can make me taller or shorter? Mm -hmm. Make me sh short. I don't want to be too short. Well, maybe short, yeah. Uh, I don't want to be too short. I'm already there. And I guess that's it. Create. Load. Hello, hello, can you hear me? I should appear on your head up display interface. Okay, connection established. You just woke up from a cloning tank. 
You're probably not in a good you're probably not in good shape for now, so we'll start slowly. And this is Ot Otello. Straight ahead of you, you can see one of my holographic representations. Come closer to speak with me. Wow. So go to the Haven District. And there's a timer. Or not a timer, but Okay, so I'm pressing W, that does not go forward. But pressing D makes me sidestep. Spaces jump. And I'm clicking both left and right simultaneously, and seems to be searching. Oh, painting. Let me look at the controls. Codex? I can't even walk forward. I don't know how to walk forward. Um, looks like you can build up your character. And you can change your colors anytime you want. That's awesome. Saving. <laughs> Options. Controls. Move forward to Z? That's weird. Can I change this? The template. For a keyboard. Pre please press control button. Not to be W. Strafe left, strafe right. What is it? Re rewind. Emote. Q. Okay. I have no idea why walking forward was Z. It's a little weird. The camera is a little bit too close, so I am going to fix that if possible. No motion blur. And this is a multiplayer game, multiplayer game. So, if any of you guys want to play with me, let me know, and I'll be willing to play with you. Did this fix it? I think it went even closer. Oh, there you go. All the way back. Whoa. Right there looks good. Perfect. What's in here? Codex. Oh. Hey there, how are you feeling with this new body of yours? 
Sorry for the lack of, wo of warm welcome. There's no other way to create clones apart from this abandoned place. So you're going to have to get out of here alone. Waterbacks? Don't panic. We're going to help you. Or tell a house place holograms like this one to help you out. I added... Oh. That period is really small. I added box... I added boxes that can give you more information as well. Scan the switch near the laser door to open it. <clears throat> Before that, I do want to look around this room. Nothing spectacular so far. Okay. <clears throat> About cloning. You are in the cloning chamber, uh, N 2178, or number 2178, or, uh, whatever that symbol is. While current technology lets us duplicate in organic manner, matter, remember that employers are strictly forbidden from using cloning tasks for personal and or entertainment purposes. If any rubber duck, edible food, or electronic device from any competing company are found in your possession you'll be investigated also remember that cloning a cloning tank is the worst punishable offense you can commit and offenders will be severely prosecuted okay that was that I do have to scan for a while so And another door. Search around you. You should find a switch. Already did. Hold, uh, left click to get information on your surroundings when you're lost. Don't forget that the scanner has a good range, so no need to stick your face on the switch to activate it. Hello, Tello. <laughs> All the bridges linking these platforms or plate forms have collapsed. You're going to have to jump from platform to platform to reach the door. Wait, what? Link these platforms? Press the space key to jump and keep it pressed to reach the maximum height. Let me that again. All the bridges linking these is platforms. Wow. What was the grind button? Rewind rewind is R. Holy shit! Oh, that's awesome. So it like literally rewinds your act your your actual like movements. down here another tutorial thing oh 
But before I go jumping on those platforms, I do want to look around here. Nothing. There is a limit to how much you can go back. It, uh, barely. Ooh. Problems of direction. Attention all employees. You're currently in the transitional transitional room 782, aisle H exit 12. Intersection 487. Following following several requests. We have looked into the orientation problem that some employees have been experiencing. Rather than setting up a complex and costly direction system, we have opted for updating our recruitment requirements to only hire people with the perfect sense of direction. Lost? This message doesn't concern you at all. Our max speed seems to be about like 20. Just looking at the bottom right. Escalade. Oh. Guess I missed these two over here. Or these over here. Escalade. You automatically hang on, hang on to edges. Careful not to spam jumps or your character will not hang on to anything. After a jump, if you jump once again against the wall, you will do a wall jump. When you see a sewer, a cable, or a barrier, try to grind on it holding left shift key. Grinds will increase your speed and your energy. Hold the R key to get back to a previous position. This function is especially useful when repairing a mistake like falling from a high place but it can also be used to solve some puzzle. However, even if the rewind function allows you to retrace your steps, it doesn't go back in time. To pick up a ball or item, just walk near it. Once you're holding it, it will slow you down more and less depending on more or less depending on item's weight, on the item's weight. You must you just need to press left click to throw it away. If you keep left click press, pressed, an arrow will show you the trajectory of the ball. Careful, if you take a hit or use rewind when carrying the item, it will fall down. Surveillance cameras alert nearby secu boxes or e cops when they see a player or a sus suspicious item. Alerts can block pathways or send security drones after you. If they catch you, you will be... I guess there's no commas in this game. If they catch you, you will be teleported to the nearest... to the closest re rehabilitation platform. Yeah, I noticed some parts where they needed a comma, but there wasn't any, so I figured, hmm, maybe that's me being dumb, but you definitely need a comma right there. Silent walk. Keep left shift pressed to crouch and walk silently. Hmm. Is this me grinding? So it looks like we don't have any roller skates, so we're mostly walking the entire way. I guess you can do that. But for a short distance. And somehow your boots are roller skates. I don't know. Um, what am I doing? Let's talk to Otella before I do anything. 
All the doors are locked. Just climb all the way up and go through the air vent. You automatically hang onto edges and other grips on walls, so climbing is really simple. Just keep the jump and forward key press. Just keep the jump and forward key pressed. Maintenance zone. This is a maintenance area. There is no playground, nor it is nor is it a romantic place for a date. It, it's ugly, it stinks, and the place is always flooded when it rain when it rains. Please follow safe safety instructions by limiting your movements within the lighted area. This message is for HP Plus employees only. If you are a maintenance drone or a person who hasn't signed the security regulations, this message doesn't concern you and you are free to go wherever you want. Which is the vents. So we gotta go up there. Whoops. <gasps> Grab it! Okay, well... There you go, I can do it this way. Easy. What? Oh, okay. I was like, what happened? Because I was trying to back out to see the cobwebs. He's just like moving forward. That's funny. You won't be able to go over that gap in one jump. You'll have to do some wall jumps. You just have to jump again when, you s when you're against the wall. Or a wall. If you do it well, if you do it well, you should be able to get really high and maybe even reach the ceiling. Yeah, well, no need to spend any more time in this shady place. View. You've got instant access to three types of views with C. Third person view will allow you to play while seeing a character. First person view will allow you to play through your character's eyes. The auto view will allow you to play in first person, but will automatically switch <clears throat> to third person when you're doing figures. You could play it this way. Oh. I like oh I like how his arms flail around flail around. Or we can play it this way. So this claimed, not really claimed, but this is known to be a Jet Set Radio revival. I am gonna play it in third person. So it's timed, so you can't just mash the space button. And, uh, uh what? And an... <laughs> And another room in ruins. You can climb the gutter, cables, or barriers by pressing the left shift button. So there are um, commas in this game. I guess they just don't know when to use them. Or they use them whenever they please. It's kind of weird. It's very useful and it makes you look cool. And it makes you go faster.
relocation. Please remember that HP Plus Pharmaceutical Industry industry is currently re relocating its laboratories and equipment to a more suitable area of the city. We are unaware of the reasoning behind the sud this sudden change, but rest assured that a transitional time of 4 hours and 45 minutes will be given to all employees so that they can move out and find new homes in a better location for their new workplace. The traditional or the transitional time began exactly three hours and 56 minutes ago. Any employee who's late will be punished. Oh, the time restarted? Do you see that top? So what do we do here? Don't panic. Following the announcement of the relocation of HP Plus Pharmaceutical Industry Laboratories, we have noticed an increase of our employees' panic, lev panic levels. We encourage you not to panic. We encourage you not to start panicking, and remind you that any employee found causing degradation of our equipment or our premises, as well as any late employees, will be punished. This is a difficult door. It closes at it closes a few seconds after being opened. You're going to have to use your suit's features to go through this one. Right after activating that switch over there, press R key to re rewind. Rewinding will bring back will bring you back to your previous position. Careful though, it does not rewind time. Don't get too excited. But it's very useful to correct your mistakes and solve some problems like this one. Oh. <gasps> Made it. Last step for freedom! It's about time! Have you heard apparently some people managed to get out of the center within 35 seconds? With that deactivated suit? Is it really possible? Are you telling me that there's already a timed challenge? Or, never mind. Good, I'm opening the door now. Is there a reason why I'm really slow? Well done, spraying that graffiti awarded you with some experience points. Cheap pulse, cheap pulse generator. Shit, there's probably a lot more stuff I could have scanned. Cause there, there's no indication. I just scanned that because I thought, you know. You should find a container in that room. Scan it to open it. Once you're, once you have found the augment chip in there, just add it to your skill grid. Oh, okay. So I guess we did need to do that. To access this. <coughs> 
to access the skill grid, press menu, then open the character window. So I guess I add this. Confirm. Oh. Perfect. I'll open the door. Keep in mind that the higher level, the more slots you unlock with your skill grid. Ooh. I don't know what that does. I just did that. It was a puzzle. Staff authorized. This area is for non non organic and or people in possession of level three intellect pass only. To discourage unauthorized people from going in, we have set up an extremely complex door opening system that only drones or people with physical and mental aptitude can operate. Oh, connect US box here. We are getting to the secured area. You'll have to plug in the US box to open the gate. Get close to the US box to pick it up if you're not if it's not already done. Then throw it onto then throw it into the socket. It's showing your HUD. I just did it, but whatever. Really? Forbidden area. We declare HP plus pharmaceutical industry laboratories officially closed. It is now strictly forbidden to get inside the premises. Many security systems have been set up and any individual caught wandering around the corridors will be prosecuted. Reading this message is also illegal. Okay, I already read that. Careful! There's a surveillance camera. If it sees you, it will alert nearby security drones that will capture you, capture you, and send you to the nearest rehabil <clears throat> send you to the nearest rehabilitation point. It's impossible to run away. It's impossible to run away from a drone in such a small room. So just try to go undetected. <laughs> Oh shit, okay. Ah! This is a forbidden area. Remain isolated during the rehabil rehabilitation period. So I am staggered for a bit. Because I am kind of slow. Don't know how long that lasts. What? No! <sighs> what? Oh my gosh. No! I suck guys, I suck! I suck! Let me through! 
<laughs> well, at least I'm getting practiced, uh, practice for th my throwing abilities. Made it. That was actually pretty easy. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh! Be careful. Oh. <laughs> Be careful on the floor in this room. It detects sound and will ring the alarm at the slightest noise. If you have the choice, avoid walking on that type of floor. I don't think you can go around these these ones. So you're just going to have to walk as slowly and quietly as possible. To walk quietly, press left shift and go forward. I'm actually going to stop it here, guys. I really don't know how long it's been, but... Thanks for watching. I'll see ya. See ya in part two.